Today is a good day to have a great day. Lalo na pag sinimulan natin dito sa Sa Jesus ay kasama sa panalangin pagsamba sa umagang kay ganda. Ako po si J.L. Laguerta, ang iyong devotional leader for today. Pagpalang umaga, bawat araw ay puno ng pag-asa. Si Jesus ay kasama, pananalangin at pagsamba. Si Jesus ay kasama sa umaga ay ganda.
I won't tear down coming up to me There's no shadow you won't light up Mountain you won't climb up coming up to me No walls you won't kick down And I won't tear down coming up to me Good morning! Gusto ko pong magsimula sa ating devotion ngayong umaga nito by quoting a part ng song ng Eraser Heads na may pamagat na Sa Wakas. Sabi ng awitin na ito, Sa wakas ay nakita ko na ang aking hinahanap. Sa wakas ay nakuha ko na ang aking hinahangan. Kay tagal ko din naghintay at nagsunog ng kilay, ngayon ay masasabi ko ng matamis ang tagumpay. This morning, Kaya ng ating mga naging topic for the past UKGs this September, yun din po ang ating pag-usapan. At ito ang silitang perseverance. And I believe if there is one trait that we Filipinos are known of, we can all agree, it is perseverance. Grabe ang Pinoy pagdating dito. At sa bawat kwento ng perseverance na meron ng bawat isa, meron ako isang nakita na common denominator. At ito, Ang gusto kong pag-usapan natin ngayong umagang ito. Ito ang salitang extra. Ano ho ang ibig kong sabihin? Una, alamin muna natin ang kaulugan ng salitang ito. According to the dictionary, ang extra daw as an adjective means added to an existing or usual amount or number. It, in short, it is additional. As an adverb naman, it means to a greater extent than usual. Or sa Tagalog, ito po ay karagdagan. Alam nyo po, uh, ako po ay isang coffee lover, and every time na mag-order po kami ng coffee sa, sa McDo, tuwing nagda-drive through ko kami ni Lex, lagi po ako nag-order at nag-request ng extra sugar at extra creamer. Dahil for me, ito yung timpla na perfect sa panlasa ko. Sa madali yung salita, ang extra po, ito ay dinadagdag natin pag sa tingin natin kulang yung meron sa kasalukuyan. Now, balik ho tayo sa ating topic na perseverance at paano natin may relate ang salitang extra sa perseverance. Because of the challenges and difficulties we face along the way, we persevere. We find that extras within ourselves that can help us overcome those challenges so we can move on to our goal. For example, going extra mile sa pag-abot sa ating mga pangarap or having extra effort sa ating mga negosyo o sa ating pag-aaral or being extraordinary sa ating profesyon at marami pa. At iyan ang hanapin natin sa ating kwento ngayong umagang ito. At ito ang parable of the ten virgins. Disclaimer po, alam ko po na ang parable nito ay meron na pong biblical explanation at hindi ko po ito binabago. Ngunit hayaan nyo lang po akong i ang kwentong ito sa ating topic about extra in perseverance. Babasahin ko po ang parable na ito. At that time, the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones took their lamps but did not take any oil with them. The wise ones, however, took oil in jars along with their lamps. The bridegroom was a long time in coming and they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight, the cry rang out, Here's a bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all the virgins woke up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish one said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, our lamps are going out. No, they replied, they may not be enough for both of us and you. Instead, go to those who sell oil, buy some for yourselves. But while they were on their way to buy the oil, the bridegroom arrived. The virgins who were there, ready, went in with him to the wedding banquet, and the door was shut. 
Later, the others also came. Lord, Lord, they said, open the door for us. But he replied, truly, I tell you, I don't know you. Therefore, keep watch because you do not know the day or the hour. Sa parable po na ito na ating binasa, meron po akong apat na extra na nakita at ito ho ang gusto kong ibahagi sa ating devotion this morning. Una, be extra prepared. In our story, nabanggit ho doon na yung sampu, lahat sila ay naghanda ng kanilang lamp para sa kanilang gagamitin sa pagsalubong sa bridegroom. Take note po, lahat po yung sampu ay naghanda. Hindi lang po yung lima, kundi sampu. However, lima lang po doon yung extra prepared. Sila po yung uh, limang wise na nagdala ng extra oil with them. Tama naman po, since no one knows kung kailan darating yung bridegroom or kung sufficient na nga ba yung oil na meron yung lamp nila hanggang sa pagdating nung, nung bridegroom, having extra oil is uh, indeed a wise plan from these five virgins. And it, I think, hindi natin ito consider as a waste or foolish decision, no? Since yung, uh, yung problem or yung challenge on that moment is time na hindi alam kung kailan darating yung bridegroom. I want to share this to all. Being prepared is good start in aligning ourselves to our dreams. But being extra prepared brings us closer in achieving it. And this characteristic is very evident to every one of us, even in simplest way. Ano po ang gusto kong sabihin? Well, aminin po natin, lahat po tayo ay nagdadala ng extra money tuwing pumupunta po tayo sa mall. Why? Baka meron po kasi tayong magustuhan na wala sa plano, pero may nagustuhan tayong bagay na gusto natin bilhin. Having extra money, mabibili natin agad yun. Or, Iba pang example, putting extra money sa ating uh, uh, pocket, sa ating mga pants. Para in case na mawala yung wallet natin, well, wag naman sana. Pero as a good strategy or plan na kapag nawala yung wallet natin, meron po tayong extra money na meron sa ating pants na gamitin natin sa ating pamasahe pag uwi. Or having an extra key na tinatago natin sa, sa doormat or sa plant box para in case na mawala yung main key natin, makakauwi pa rin tayo at makakapasok pa rin tayo sa ating bahay by having that extra key. Imagine, everything could have been worse if you weren't that uh, extra prepared. There is nothing bad, uh, bad about being extra prepared. In fact, you are saving yourself from being caught unprepared as problem arises. So take note, be extra prepared. Second, be extra cautious. In the same story, there are five virgins who didn't bring extra oil. Probably thinking their oil is already enough as the weight. Pero dahil matagal dumating yung bridegroom, then the uh, longer than expected, then ang nangyayari na ubus po yung oil nila para sa kanilang sarili. And then, when the other cannot offer extra oil for themselves, they decided to buy one. However, ang naging kinalabasan, hindi po nila na meet yung bridegroom. Sometimes, we think that our talent or skills alone is enough para ma-reach natin yung goal natin, yung dream natin. And we become overconfident of ourselves, just like the foolish virgins. And I believe, when we think that way, we are allowing ourselves to a certain limitation or capacity. Let us become like the wise virgins who brought extra oil, who thinks that their oil is not enough. We must think the same way. We must acknowledge that our strength, that our own talent and skills, is not enough, and that we need someone who is great help. In Psalm 118 verses 8 to 9, says, It is better to take refuge in the Lord 
than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. And that includes ourselves. Our knowledge is limited, but our God is om omniscient. Sabihin, all-knowing. He knows what's better for us than we do. So kapatid, be extra cautious. Hindi mo yan kaya mag-isa. Kailangan mo na makakatulong sa'yo. At andyan ang ating Panginoon. Tumawag ka lang. So una, be extra prepared. Pangalawa, be extra cautious. Pangatlo po, be extra focus. It just came into my mind, well, uh, thinking outside the box, uh, well, I'm, uh, habang ginagawa ko po ang devotion na ito, the other five virgins who didn't bring extra oil could have met the bridegroom also. Muntikan sana nilang nakita yung bridegroom, no? If they were just extra focus. What I meant to say is, if they were just so extra focus and they have noticed that their, their oil is already half empty, marahil on that time pa lang bumili na sila agad eh. Ah, baka kulangin na to. Hindi ko pa alam darating na ba si bridegroom. Kalahati, nangangalahati na tong oil. Bibili na ako, no? So, ikaw rap, seen also the bridegroom. If they were just extra focus na makita nila na half empty na yung oil nila. Be focused. In the same way, kapatid, be focused. Be extra focused. When you think your spirit is not the same as to when you started your dream, take a breath and recharge right away. Do not wait until you don't have motivation anymore. Yung wala ka ng motivation, nagigising sa umaga, yung matagal mo nang uh, pinaghirapan na, na business, and at, at one morning, nagising ka, wala ka na motivation dahil na, napabayaan mo yung sarili mo, na, na, na out of focus ka, huwag mo nang hintayin yung kapatid. Do not wait until you're already burned out or out of focus. So, kapatid, be extra focus. Ganun din sa ating pananampalataya, mga kapatid. Be extra focus. Ikaw ang una makakapagsabi sa iyong sarili kung ikaw ay nanlalamig na. Magpainit ka sa salita ng Panginoon. Be extra focus. Kung sa tingin mo, yung isang bagay na ginagawa mo ay nagpapalayo sa iyo sa Panginoon, tigilan mo na ito kapatid. Be extra focus enough na makita ang mga bagay na ito. At ang panghuli na extra sa kwento natin ito, be extra alert. In verse 6, ang sabi po dito, Due to the bridegroom was long time in coming, they all become drowsy and fell asleep. Nakatulog sila sa tagal ng pagdating ng bridegroom. Perhaps nainip. Take note, lahat po sila yung nakatulog. Hindi lang po yung foolish, kundi pati yung wise, nakatulog po. But, when they, may, they immediately wake up as soon as they heard someone saying that the bridegroom is about to arrive. Nung narinig po nila na may sumigaw, na paparating na yung bridegroom, gumising na kayo, they immediately wake up. I realize, ano po, napag-isip-isip ko lang po, no? If they weren't extra alert enough to and stay asleep, no? Hindi sila extra alert at nat, nagpatuloy sa kanilang pagtulog. Baka pati yung wise eh, hindi na nila na-meet yung bridegroom. So, in short, pati yung extra oil na prepare nila, uh, masasayang. Yung extra preparation nila, masasayang dahil hindi sila extra alert. So, possible, ganun. Hindi nila ma-meet yung bridegroom also if nag-stay sila sa kanilang pagkatulog. And that is why it is very important to, to stay extra alert. Dahil hindi po natin alam kung kailan kakatok ang pagkakataon. Baka yung matagal na pinagpipray mo na na trabaho, na negosyo, na promotion, andyan lang sa harap mo. Kailangan mo lang buksan yung mata mo at gawin yung nararapat na gawin. Be extra alert, kapatid. 
So, mga kapatid, sa bawat pangarap na meron tayo, minsan may mga pagsubok man na kailangan nating harapin, tandaan mo lang, be extra prepared, be extra cautious, and be extra focus, and be extra alert. At tiyak, darating at darating din yung araw na masasabi mo sa sarili mo na sa wakas. To God be the glory, in Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Tayo po ay manalangin. We continuously praise and glorify you, O Lord our God. Salamat sa buhay. Salamat sa lahat ng mga biyaya. Salamat sa iyo, Diyos na buhay na aming pinaglilingkuran. Salamat po for this wonderful opportunity to come before you as one in prayer. At salamat po sa mabiyayang mensahe na pinagkalog niyo po sa amin sa umagang ito. Nawa, tulungan niyo po ang bawat isa sa amin na maging extra persistent sa lahat ng aming ginagawa, lalo na ang mga bagay na patungkol sa paglilingkod sa iyo. Lord, we ask for the continuous guidance and leading of your Holy Spirit, that truly, Lord, may the words of our mouth and meditation of our minds be pleasing to you always. Kaya naman, dalangin namin na patawarin niyo nawa kami sa lahat ng aming pagkakasala. Patawarin niyo rin nawa kami kung kami man ay naging cause for our brothers and sisters to sin. Forgive us, Father, to all our shortcomings. Help us to turn away from our wicked ways and to truly live our lives in accordance to your will. Patuloy po namin tinataas sa iyo ang kagalingan ng buong mundo mula sa pandemya na aming hinaharap ngayon. May we pray sa lahat ng mga tao na nasa banig ng karamdaman, especially ng dahil sa COVID-19. We pray na kung anuman po ang pain and discomfort na meron sila sa kanilang mga pangatawan ngayon, nawa, hipuin mo po Panginoon ang iyong mapagbagaling na mga kamay. That in the mighty name of Jesus, maranasan at makantan nila ang holistic healing na nagmumula sa iyo. We also pray for all our brothers and sisters in Christ who are greatly affected by our current situation. Ipadaman nyo na nawa na, nasa kanila ang anuman ang pinagdaanan nila ngayon. Ikaw, Panginoon, ay laging nandiyan para sa lahat. Tinataas din po namin sa inyo sa panang, panalang ito ang lahat ng frontliners, especially the health workers. May you continuously give them and their families the protection and provision they need. May we also pray for our government. May the wisdom and the love that only come from you ang mauna sa bawat government official. Nang sa gayon, magampanan nila ng mabuti, ng wasto at ng tama ang pamamalakad sa aming bansa. Tunay nawa na sa bansang Pilipinas, ikaw, Panginoon, ang may taas. We also pray for our church. We pray for each pastor, each deaconist, each mission workers, each DS, each bishop. We pray as well for our church lay leader and members. We pray that your whole church be truly unified with your love and grace. That the whole body of Christ be truly be one in serving one true living God. We also pray for each of us hearing this prayer. Alam niyo po, Panginoon, ang pinagdadaanan ng bawat isa sa amin. Alam niyo po ang pangangailangan ng bawat isa. May your holy protection and provisions be upon each of us. At ganun na rin po ang aming mga pamilya. May your holy and precious blood, Father, ang patuloy na bumagot sa bawat isa sa amin at tunay na patuloy na maging protected kami from any form of evil. This we all ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen and Amen. Thank you po sa pagsama sa akin sa ating devotion sa araw na ito. Naway po ang ating mga narinig ay gawin po nating aral at paalaala. Tandaan mo kapatid, ano man yung pinagdadaanan mo, wag na wag kang mawala ng pag-asa dahil lagi kang may kasama. And of course, don't forget to like, 
comment, and share this video sa iyong mga kapatid, kapamilya, at kapuso. Hanggang sa muli, paalam!